I wonder what else is on here. Oh, one way to find out. Go, go, supercomputer! As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed, first by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it, then. Okie pokey. District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Well, I wouldn't know anything about that, would I now? So, Anyway, before we get on and we review these plans, looks like we've got an update on the uh, the Codex and the uh, Gotham feed. So let's give these a quick look, see what we have to see. So, Someone has to stop Falcone. Well, someone has uh, stopped Falcone indefinitely, it seems. So, pause the video, just like with the Arkham stuff. Pause the video if you want to give these... Uh, these little newspaper reports, a little bit of a read. I'd definitely say it's worthwhile. Police raid Wayne Properties. I believe we've already read this one. I don't think this one's uh, all that new news, but... Latest polls show Dent and Hill tired. Oh, it looks like this bait tonight is going to be uh, more important than either one of them to believe. Either one of them is going to come out on top, or uh, one of them is going to be attacked by Cobblepot. ...who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Okay, folks, it looks like, what do we have an update for? We have an update for the Waynes. And as always, with these updates, it's the top update, which is the newest one, so I don't need to scroll down, but... As I say, with all the others, pause the video if you want to give it a read, see what the update is about. Obviously, we're going to have plenty of updates for Hill after all this stuff we've just found out about Cobblepot. Bit of an update on uh, Catwoman after our meeting in that bar. Quite a large update on a cobble pop. We've been finding out a lot about him recently. And that'll be the last update I'm guessing we're going to be getting on Falcone. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Okie pokey, right, with that being said and done, let's go, uh, let's review these Monarchy Theatre, uh, security cameras and, uh, see where the, uh, the best point of entry might be. Let's plan this attack to the last detail. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there, now. Well, with Hill's corruption, we already knew that this debate was going to be something we need to pay attention to, but now with Cobblepot's involvement, this is a powder keg ready to explode. Harvey needs to get out of there. 
Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly pleasant. Ha Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. It's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real... Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, look... Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good optic. I, I get it, it's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. Harvey. I think that might be the first Two-Face joke I've heard this whole game. I'm surprised they haven't hinted that, done a bit more foreshadowing at that sooner. <laughs> unless, I, unless they were subtle and I missed them. <laughs> I was expecting this game just to be littered with Two-Face references. Batman. Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I'm glad I took a chance on this... this collaboration of ours. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. Well, Gordon, flattery will get you everywhere. Hero is a lofty title. I hope I live up to it. Could be tonight's the night to prove it. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. Uh, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. This is no bar fight. They're coming with everything they have. Good. That brawl barely had me break a sweat. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Oh, see? And who says Batman doesn't have any charisma? With one-liners like that.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, the incumbent mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rate, income inequality, and yes, a mass vigilante loose on our streets. Oh, and there was me hoping for a good old death from above moment. You let me down, Batman. You're letting me down. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Firing the moderator. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. On the left. Hold up, huh? Go. Oh man, it seems like everyone's here tonight. Not only have they got Vicky Vow out on stage with them as well, but it seems like uh, Penguin brought the Blue Meanie with him as well, so... Alright, let's see how we can do this. This guy's nearest. Let's start with this dude. What we got? We can smash his face into the TV. Or we can whack him with the camera. <laughs> as much as I want to whack this guy with the camera, if we smash his head in the TV, we will then be right next to this dude. Which means that is perfect time for us to attack him. And then we can leave this last guy in the corner for Selena, so... <laughs> I really want to hit him with the camera, just just so there'll be a recorded uh, visual of it, but... Now, let's, uh, let's hit his head into the TV, and that means we'll be right by the next guy, ready to strike. Yep, that's perfect, and that means we're going to end up standing right there, which means this guy we'll already be right next to. Uh, we can hit him on the door, or we can hit him on the table. Ah... Uh, yeah, I'm going to say the table just because I'm worried we're going to hit the door and go flying out on stage and give away our presence. So, let's go table. Plus, let's give these hostages a show. Let's give them, let's give them something uh, entertaining to tell the kids. Do you know what? Actually, no, scrap that. Scrap that. I don't like, I don't like that. Okay, fair enough. I was gonna, there we go. I was about to say, I don't like that. I think I want to... I actually want to use the door. I, I changed my mind. Oh, good lord. That, that is so picky. You really have to get, like, right on that to try and change that. I'm going to go with the door. <laughs> well, it bashed through the door just like I thought it would, but... Hang on. This, uh, this last guy over here... We'll leave this guy up to Selena. There is no way we're going to be able to get all the way over to that side of the room without him getting a couple of shots off on us. Sounds fun. Well, that's the general idea. Or at least for you it is, anyway. Let's do this! Boom, baby! <laughs> I 
Oh, that's a shame. It didn't recognise the fact that I was already over there. I was hoping it would. I should just should just hit that guy with the camera. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My council, brothers and sisters of color, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade. Hey, look at that. Penguin sponsored by Tim Burton. Did you ever meet the guy on the screen? Nope. Smart to let someone else do your dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to me. Go on, love. You know what to do. Ah! Candidates, take off your masks. <coughs> <coughs> It looks like that thing, the uh, serum that Penguin's given them, is a regular, a regular bona fide truth serum. Maybe we should just let this thing play out, and the uh, dent will win for sure. Then. We're out of time, Batman. The brass is going nuts with those two drugs on stage. Yo, I was going to say a bunch of stuff, but I want to hear what these politicians actually have to say. They're finally telling the truth. We can actually see that Dent is truly a good guy, and Hill is actually a psycho. Oh, Cobblepot, that hurts. Father was dead. Subject 9, Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we're friends. Our boys play together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. <laughs> oh my god, those awful character models! <laughs> I mean, he's very sorry what's happening to Cobblepot's mother there, but... <laughs> well, I guess now we can see why Cobblepot's so mad. Oh, looks like it's showtime. Well, you said I had a knack for the theatric. Hulk smash! As it turns out, I don't have to beat up this guy. I can just sue him for copyright. <laughs> no, please. You 
Earthquakes. Once Blue Godzilla gets out of my way, I might actually be able to save Hill. I took out Thomas Wade. That, 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 that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it. So this is for her. Oh, holy hell! Well, it looks like I don't need to worry about any ramifications from Hill. Chew on that! That's a bit of a shocking aftertaste. Oh, God. Even I know that was an awful pun. <laughs> Where's your mate, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter. And he didn't even turn up. <laughs> Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! Let Dent go! And what if I don't? I'll crush every bone in your body. I knew you'd say something like that. <laughs> Oh, I thought he shot her in the head then. Oh no, here comes Batman's version of Sophie's Choice. Do I save Harvey Dent or do I save Catwoman? <laughs> Selena can look after herself. We've seen that back at the bar. Harvey, not so much. Plus, we all know where Catwoman's loyalties really lie, and Harvey's my friend. Sorry, Selena, but as you said, it wasn't personal. And our whole goal, after all, was to save Harvey Dent and everyone else that we can. Not to save each other. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne? Let's hit it. He's lucky. Could have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. Did you see her? No, but look for the blood. There. <laughs> Come on, she kind of got far. Lawyers representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. And with that being said, that is the end of episode 2, Children of Arkham. So let's go through and just like with all Telltale games, let's go a look and have a look at our decisions, discuss what everyone else did and discuss why I did what I did. So did you ease Falcone's pain or did you make him suffer? You and 61.1% of players eased Falcone's pain with morphine. No. See, I was very tempted to make him suffer, to make him pay, like, pay for what he's done. But I figured that was more of a Batman move and not really a Bruce Wayne move. 
Especially at that point, we didn't know that Falcone was about to die, so if we had roughed him up, there's a thousand one different things he could say in prison. To go, oh, I was brutalized, and then I was let off easy, so then he'll like, get, get like a reduced prison sentence for the way he was treated while he was in custody, and I didn't want to risk any of that. Plus, I figured roughing him up is more of Batman's job, so... But it seems like 61.1% of other players uh, agreed with me. I mean, ultimately, it made no difference anyway, because <laughs> the dude died, so... hey oh. Did you kiss Selena? You and 19.4% of players didn't try and kiss Selena. Yeah, exactly. I'm not getting suckered into that. Come on, 80.6% of you. You must have guessed she was going to pull away. You must have guessed. There was no way she was going to plant a kiss on you straight away. She's just reeling you in. She just wants to have you caught in her grasp so she can make you do whatever she likes. I'm not falling for that. Batman's, a, Batman's no fool. Batman is a one-man parade. Parade? That's probably the worst word to use when you're trying to build up your own manliness but no batman is a one man show a one man band he doesn't uh, he doesn't let him get self get trapped by the uh the seductive lure of selena kyle so to those 19.4 percent of players who didn't kiss selena yes i tip i um i tilt my hat to you well done well done you did not fall f did not fall for her trap Did you visit Mayor Hill as Bruce or as Batman? You and 47.2% of players chose to visit Mayor Hill as Bruce Wayne. I'm honestly a bit surprised by that. I expected it to be like with the last one. I expected it to be a lot more people went as Batman than they did as Bruce Wayne. I figured given the option, more players were always going to choose Batman just because it's more fun. I'm, I'm actually quite shocked to see that it's more of like a 50-50 uh, a split, but... Did you withdraw your funding for Harvey's campaign? You and 92.5% of players continue to fund Harvey's campaign. Yeah, that's, that's, that's actually a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. Like, it, to me, it seems like the smart option. Because with anyone with like half a brain cell, you can tell that he doesn't want to withdraw. He doesn't want you like to... He doesn't want to distance himself from you. He has to do it for political reasons. Like, given any choice, he'd stay your friend and he'd defend you in public. But politics is just a tricky, fickle thing. And like... Bruce Wayne understands why he had to do that, so I feel like if you didn't continue to fund Harvey, then it's just sort of like a cruel, vindictive act, just for no reason. Did you save Selena or Harvey? You and 39.8% of players saved Harvey over Selena. I actually had no idea what the statistics were going to be for this one. I, I didn't really... I was kind of waiting to see what they were going to be here. I didn't have any guess as to what they were going to be. I can see why... The majority of people picked Selena. Number one, judging by how many tried to kiss Selena, I'm guessing there's a huge percentage of that 80% from previously that have chose to uh, save Selena just because they uh, they want to get in her good books or they want to get in something else that belongs to her. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I think also a lot of people are probably thinking, well, Harvey Dent becomes Two-Face anyway in the end, so what's the point saving him now when, let's face it, he's going to become Two-Face eventually, but... What could I say? He was my friend and I wanted to save him. Selena Kyle had more chance of saving herself than Harvey Dent did. So that was the reason why I chose uh, why I chose Harvey over Selena anyway. Selena can defend herself. Harvey, not so much. Harvey was definitely going down then. So And let's face it, Catwoman's not exactly made any, any, made it any secret that she's on her own and she works for herself. So why should I let my friends suffer to save her when it's not necessarily guaranteed that she would do the same back for us? So... But hey, that's just my thoughts on the matter. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that by the end of episode 5 of Batman, he's going to have become Two-Face by then. Like, There is no doubt in my mind, but still, that's the choice I've made. And seeing as how, as of recording this, episode 3 hasn't been released yet, I have absolutely no idea of what ramifications these are gonna, what these are going to hold for the future. Will Harvey Dent eventually become Two-Face? Will he not become Two-Face till the very end? Is Selina now going to hate Bruce Wayne and Batman? Is she going to do something to try and get back at us? Or will she be okay with our choice? Like At this point, no idea. It's episode 3 hasn't been released as of recording this. So uh, we are both going to find, we are, all of us are going to find out together the consequences of my choices. But that is only something we're going to find out in episode 3. As for now... I will catch you guys later. Next time on Batman, the Telltale series. Batman saved me. And I know this isn't over. Who are these people, Bruce? 
Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding. Not for anyone. But don't worry. Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce! Bruce! <laughs>